Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. When do we use implicit differenti differentiation? This is a interesting question that teachers need to explain when they are delivering this uh, procedure in calculus. And students always need that answer. What is the difference between finding the derivative of one curve and the derivative of another curve using different methods? or different approaches. To the, in today's video, we are going to find uh, the derivative of one or two particular curves, the circle and the ellipse, and the example that you see on the screen, using implicit differentiation. And we are going to answer that question. When do we use it? This is really important. Follow me on this video. Suppose that we have the function, the classic function uh, f of x equals 3x plus 1, which is a line, and we are going to find the derivative of f of x applying the normal rules of polynomial. The derivative here is uh, 3, <clears throat> because the derivative of a constant is 0. Look, this is a function of x. This is a function in the form y equals f of x. Again, if you have a function g of x equals x squared, which is the parabola or the quadratic function, and you want to find the derivative of the quadratic function is 2x. This is another function in the form y equals g of x. It's a function of x. So we have the function expressed in terms of x. But what happens if I, instead of that, <clears throat> I have the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 9. <clears throat> and we want to differentiate this curve, which is the circle. And we cannot express it, uh, or we don't have it in a y equal f of x. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this citation from a, a, a calculus book uh, that I have here in my library. In situations, and I'm going to read this uh, the text. In situations where a function y is not explicitly defined in terms of x, implicit differentiation becomes a powerful tool. By differentiating both sides of an equation re with respect to x and applying the chain rule, we can effectively determine the derivative of y with respect to x. This technique is essential in dealing with with equations. We're isolating y in terms of x is complex or impossible. So if we have that uh, equation, the x squared plus y squared equals 9, which is the equation of the circle with center at 0, 0 and radius 3, and we don't want to <clears throat> solve for y or uh, express the function in terms of x, or have the y uh, expressed in terms of x, because generate a more complex equation, we can use, we can use uh, implicit differentiation. And that's the answer of the initial question. When do we use it? Situations like that. Situations like that, and in situations like the example that I have here on, on the screen, the equation of a curve is given by y to the power of 3 plus x times y equals 2, and we have to find the y dx in terms of x and y. So situations like that, that is another example that we are going to use the implicit differentiation. What is the, what is the procedure? Or what is the technique to do it? This is what is next. How can we use implicit uh, differentiation? We are going to differentiate each uh, or side of the, of the equation. So I'm going to find the derivative of x squared. That is no more than 2x. We are going to uh, find, use the chain rule to find the derivative of y squared. Okay, remember y is a function of x. We are going to find the derivative of y squared using the chain rule. That's why we can put here 2y times dy dx. Okay, so if you are interested in how to use the chain, the, uh, chain rule, I have a couple of videos in our channel that you can visit and see the chain rule. Also, if you are interested um, that I 
record a video about it, just let me know. So um, we find the derivative of the right side, which is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is zero. <clears throat> so far, so good. So we are going to differentiate each side. x squared, polynomial rule, 2x. y to the second power is 2y times dy dx, applying the chain rule. Now we are going to solve for dy dx. In order to solve for dy dx, step by step, you have here 2y times dy dx, and you can move 2x to the other side, minus 2x. And then <clears throat> you divide by 2y on both sides of the equation, and you get negative 2x divided by 2y. You cancel the two, and the final answer, dy over dx is minus x over y. Done. This is the differentiation of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9. Simple as that. Step number one, differentiate both sides and use the chain rule when you differentiate, differentiate y. Solve for dy dx. Very simple. I don't want to complicate the video. I just want to deliver the effectiveness of the procedure with an easy uh, equation, which is uh, the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9. Let's see uh, the ellipse. Let's see the ellipse, which is uh, another one that we can use the implicit differentiation. Look at the example number two, ellipse equations. Consider an ellipse 4x squared plus 9y to the second power equals 36. And this is when you uh, take your uh, bring to your students the uh, the idea of implicit differentiation because I don't we don't have that uh, y equal f of x. We don't have that nice uh, expression to find the derivative. And this is when prompt you to say, oh, we're going to use the implicit differentiation. But what is the implicit differentiation? We are going to uh, differentiate both sides of the equations, and we are going to differentiate the x, we are going to differentiate the y, and we're going to use the chain rule, and we're going to solve for the y dx. That's it. This is uh, simple. So look at the first step. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So <clears throat> the differentiation of 4x squared plus 9y to the second power, and also the differentiation of the constant 36. You know, on a step two, that the derivative of a uh, constant 36 is just 0. And the derivative of 4x to the second power, applying the polynomial rule, is 8x. And now we find the derivative of y uh, using the chain rule, so that will be 18y times dy dx. What is next on the final step? We have to solve for the y and the x. So we move the 8x to the, uh, to the right as a negative 8x, and then we divide it by 18y. The simplification of this is negative 4x minus 9y. But <clears throat> I'm going to show you that final step right here in a second. So we have 18y dy dx equals minus 8x. Okay. So what we do here is we divide on both sides of the equation by <clears throat> 18 uh, y, so dy dx is equal minus ax divided by 18y. So you can simplify this. Uh, 8 is divisible by uh, 2, which is 4, and 18 is divisible by 2, which is 9. So we have negative 4x over 9, which is exactly the answer right here. This is implicit differentiation and this is the answer for when to use it we have a question at the very beginning and we are going to use the the, the uh, implicit differentiation it's a typical question at, in a textbook let's see it one more time so we have the following question. The equation of a curve is given by y to the third power plus xy equals 2. Let me write this down. y to the third power plus xy equals 2. Find uh, an expression for dy dx in terms of x and y. 
this is when the teacher said, okay, look, we don't have a so nice expression here. And we have the X and the Y, a product of the X and the Y. Well, how can we do the implicit differentiation? Step number one, you're going to find the derivative of the left and the derivative of the right side. So the derivative of Y to the third power using the chain rule is, what else? Is 3Y to the second power dy dx, because it's the chain rule, plus the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of y is dy dx. But this is a product. So what we do with the product? What is the rule for the product? Okay, the derivative of the first one times the second one. So the derivative of x times the second one is y, plus the derivative of the second one times the first one. So the derivative of y is dy dx. So it's dy dx times x. <clears throat> Equals the derivative of 2, which is 0. Okay, it's complicated here, but I want you to see the following. <clears throat> you can move this y to the right side, and you can have 3y to the power of 2 dy dx plus dy dx times x equals minus y. And now, algebra 1, factorization, dy dx, dy dx, factor it out. So it's going to be, let me put it over here, dy dx. When you factor this out, you have 3y squared plus x equals minus y. Final approach, leave everything here with dy dx by itself. So let me use a different color here, and I have dy dx <coughs> equals uh, negative y over 3y squared plus x. And I finally get dy dx by itself, and I'm done with that part of the question. What do you think? There's a lot of algebra here and algebra massage, but you can do it. Take a look one more time. So this is the summary of the question. You have the uh, expression here, y to the third power plus xy uh, times x, uh, y equals 2. And you apply the implicit differentiation. Uh, you apply the um, chain rule when on the first step. So 3y to the second power times dy dx. And you apply the product rule. And you find the derivative of the constant, which is 0. Um, <clears throat> You do some kind of algebra transformations and factorization, and you finally get dy dx equals minus y over 3y squared plus x. The second part of the question was um, <clears throat> to um, find the gradient, which is no more than the slope of the curve at 1, 1, and the equation of the tangent to the curve at that point. That was our previous video. So if you are interested in solving the second part of this question, which is finding the slope of the curve at one particular point, and also the equation of the tangent to the curve, I invite you to watch the video that you can see right here on top of me. Uh, and enjoy the video and, and use it to answer the question. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, do not forget to share. Do not forget to give us a like. This is important and help on math topics to continue our work. Uh, this is not only the work of one person. This is the work of more than one person. And this is also your uh, collaboration with the channel. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.